A desire that every first time home seller wants to achieve is they want to have their house sell profitably and quickly. And I once heard something told about fast, cheap, and good. So let's talk about how that relates to being quick and profitable for your next home sale. Yeah. Oh, here we go. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. If you get any value out of this content, do me a favor and hit the like button, then subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our great content. Now let's talk about a quick and profitable sale. If you're a first time home seller, so you've never sold a house before. So you don't know really what to look for in an agent to be able to get you that quick and profitable home sale. So number one, just because an agent gives you a high price for your house when they come and talk to you does not mean that they're going to give you a quick and profitable sale. And here's the reason, because oftentimes agents will walk into a listing and they will say, I want your house to sell. If I think your house should sell for, let's say, $300,000. I think it's going to sell for 300,000. And maybe you met with somebody else who said, well, I think the best strategy would be to price it at 275. And then let's see how close to 300 we can get out of those two choices. I would probably go with the agent who wants to list my house at 275. If what I want is a quick and profitable sale. And the main reason for that is because if you want quick and profitable, then you want quick and quick doesn't mean that you're going to get like the most money for the property. Because if you want quick, you sometimes have to give up a little bit of profit, but that's up to you. However, if you overprice a house, then you're not going to have the profitable and it will not be quick. And the reason it won't be quick is because people are going to come in. They're going to be like, Oh, that's too much for this house. I don't want to pay that much. That's no, 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 that's, that's not good. I don't want that. Well, that's not good. I don't want that is a terrible place to be when you're trying to sell a house because what happens is your house is at one price and the other houses around you. All your house is doing then is selling the other houses around you because they're being your house is being compared to the other houses that are up for sale. And if your house is priced too high, it will not be a quick sale because it will sit there longer than the other houses. And then you'll have to drop the price at some point. And when that happens, then you have another problem. You've already eaten into that profit already. I had an appointment this summer with a, with a client and I gave her a price for her property. I said, this is the price we think your property should go for, but we'd like to try and get more. But if we price it here, then we might be able to create a bidding war that actually bids it up to the price that we would really like it to end at. And, but if we don't get a bidding war, it means that your house was priced correctly. If we just get one, offer on the property. And she thought about it. She was like, okay, I understand that. That makes sense, etc." Then she met with another agent and eventually she ended up listing with that other agent because that other agent actually said, Oh, I want to list your house for hire. Two weeks into her listing, she called me. Now I didn't call her because she was listed with another agent and that would be an ethical violation, but she called me because she was panicking. And I tried to explain to her, well, first of all, calm down, etc. And she's like, but he wants to drop the price another. They had already dropped the price down 10 grand. He wanted to drop the price another 10 grand. And it was interesting because I said to start at X price. And by the time he dropped it, the 20 grand that he dropped it, it was actually below the price that I said we should list it at. And she was already now below her profitability. And for her market, two weeks was actually really long. She did hang in there. I encouraged her to talk to her agent, encourage her to get it worked out with him, maybe talk to his broker to see if he needed any support. She did end up selling her house, but she didn't end up with as much profit as she would have liked because they did sell, but it didn't sell for nearly what we had told her it would sell for or what it could sell for most likely. And that was because it was overpriced to start with. And once they dropped the price, then people started coming as opposed to if you have the price there, you get people flooding in right away and then you create a bidding war and oftentimes you will bid the price up on your house. So quick and profitable 
it's a desire that every seller wants and every seller has to have, but you have to be really careful. It's really managing that. So how do you know if an agent knows the difference between quick profitable and how they can do that? Well, if the agent is telling you that they will be able to do it, that they're, first of all, if the agent tells you that their days on market are under the average for the market, that's a good sign. If the agent tells you that their houses are selling for a better percentage above the average list to sale price ratio, and this is something you can ask the agent to bring, say, hey, what's the average list price to sale price percentage for this market? If they don't know what you're talking about, well then, cancel your appointment. But if they know the difference between the list and the sale price percentage for the for this market and their percentage of what they list to sell for is above that average, then you know that you have an above average agent. So how do you do this? Well, you ask them for the information, but most people don't know to ask for that information. So you ask them what their list to sale price ratio is, what their percentage is, and then you also ask them about what their days on market is. Now, if they tell you that their days on market average is one to two days, that's actually a red flag because that quick might mean that they're not making sure you get exposed to the market enough. Generally, even in a hot market, a property should be technically on the market for three to five days. That should be what shows up in the stats is three to five days of them being on the market because that gives all the buyers a chance to come in and see it. And it gives everybody a chance to bid on it that wants to because not everybody can come out on day one like that. So it's really important. You wanna have an agent who is above average as far as how quick they sell the house and an agent who is above average as far as what their list to sale price ratio is. So ask them what the average days on market for, the, for that market is, and that's gonna be different everywhere you go. Currently, where I am in my market at the current at this current time, days on market right now is averaging about 14 days. That's the average. My days on market for my listings, my average over the last year is actually seven. And so that shows that my days on market are less than the average. So it means it's not, it's that's a good thing. Also, list to sale price ratio right now in my market is about 94%. My list to sale price ratio is 97%. So that means I get my clients about 3% more for their properties than my competitors. So I'm above and that's the number you're looking for. You're looking for a number, a percentage number that's above the average for the list to sale price percentage. And that is how you find an agent who knows how to sell your house quick and profitably. Hope that helps. Talk to you later. Bye for now.